guys, what's up? My name is Prez, and welcome to this brand new video about NHL 20 Story Mode. Now, this is my theory and my thoughts, and my predictions are actually what's going to happen with the NHL 20 Story Mode. If there's actually going to be a Story Mode in NHL 20. Today, we're going to take a look at three different games that has a Story Mode in them. Two of them are EA games, and the other one is a 2K game. You guys might know these games. I'm going to start playing them now. We're going to look at Madden 19, NBA 2K 19, and FIFA 19, which all have story modes. And 2K 19, or 2K, NBA 2K, has been having this story mode for many years now. For years and years and years. And they have, every single year, they have finely tuned their story mode. And people, that's why people buy their games, is to play my career and play my career and actually earn and actually go up through the ranks of the NBA and try to get drafted and you in the story you don't get drafted you go through kind of like this minor league in China then you grow up then you go through the the G League and then you go to the NBA after that that's what I think that's all story modes are following is a player that hasn't got drafted and works his way up into the draft so, my thought and my theory that EA should do this, should do this way. Your player shouldn't get drafted, um, like any other story mode. It kind of shows, kind of like FIFA 19, maybe, um, like your grandfather played in the league, or like your your dad played in the league, or something playing along those lines. It could be like EA, like NBA's doing, I mean 2K's doing. Where your player doesn't get drafted and you go through different leagues and you go through these different trials and you go through this different story and try to predict or try to get through to the NBA. And the way that I think EA should do it is your player shouldn't get drafted. He goes to the KHL. He goes to like some European league, builds his skill up there, then gets a chance to actually play in the NHL with an AHL team works his way up through the NHL team and then goes into the NHL and all that stuff and you have different interviews with player like you have different like interviews then you have friends and you have enemies you build this relationship up through like your teammates through like these different leagues and you try to help them get into the NHL and then it goes it progresses through there you go through like story mode you go through like interviews, you go through interviews, you talk to different reporters, maybe you get fired from that team, or maybe you get traded from that team, and it it really messes you up, you go back to the KHL, you go back to like these European leagues, and then you finally make your way back up to the NHL, and you stay in the NHL, then you win the grand prize of all, which is Lord Stanley Cup, or Stanley's Cup. And you go through this progression, and I think it'll actually be really cool, and on the way through, you earn virtual currency, or you earn XP to upgrade your player throughout the time. Like, imagine you start off your player, the very lowest rating, the lowest rating that EA can give you in the NHL, and you work your way up, get into, like, that... 80 range and that 85 range and that 90 range you work your way up through the like the european leagues the khl and then you work your way up through the ahl and then you get like different progress and like you get all this stuff you work your way up and then like something happens in the story and then you work your way back down and you work your way back up and all this stuff and special events can happen like if you you met you met a guy that you didn't like in like the KHL or like the European League. You didn't like him and you guys didn't become friends, you became rivals. And all of a sudden he's on the team he's on the team that you're facing in the Stanley Cup. All of a sudden you're facing him. And you guys go at it during the entire game and it's to cuts to like a cutscene where you guys are battling and all this stuff. I have lots of like I picture, I picture this happening in NHL 20. Like this news, like this, this story mode happening in NHL 20. 
I picture it, guys. I think it's actually going to happen this year. I think a lot of things are going to happen this year with NHL 20, and I'm very excited to see what's actually going to happen in NHL 20. I, I can't wait. I got a couple more videos for you guys lined up about this, about NHL 20, talking about like just theories behind NHL 20 and see what actually is going to come true. Like in the next video, I'm going to start talking about NHL 20, like game modes, like what game modes are going to be in NHL 20. Obviously, there's some that are guaranteed to be in NHL 20, and there's some are not. So I want to talk about those. I want to talk about the ones that are not going to be guaranteed, or the ones that maybe not are going to be in NHL 20. Also, I want to talk about what level of customization you guys are going to do between being a goalie or being a player. What customization can you do in NHL 20? NHL 19 was huge for that, but NHL 20 can step that up. And also, I got another video coming out about NHL 20's engine. What engine are they going to use? Are they finally going to use the Frostbite engine? You guys have to wait and see on that video. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this video and you guys want to see some more NHL 20 news slash like theory videos on what's going to be in NHL 20, or if you guys have any any suggestions on what's going to be in NHL 20, if you guys have anything in your wish list or anything like that, I made a video on that already. NHL 20 news wish list video. There'll be a link in the description to this video. Also, there'll be a link at the end of this video, and it'll possibly be up in the cards annotation. So you got tons of tons of ways to watch the video. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already, because I'll be making tons. I'll be making more NHL 20 news videos in the future. And after the playoffs, it's going to be the NHL awards, and that's where we're really going to see the NHL 20 like do like really like cover and also I got another video coming out about the NHL cover like who's going to be on it I got some suggestions I got some things that might be on the cover but I'm gonna make a video about that but right after the NHL news right, right after the NHL rewards sorry uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna see the first trailer of NHL 20 we're gonna see the first look NHL 20 I can't wait to bring you guys that video so make sure you guys stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like the button. Hit the like button. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's where you guys can actually see upcoming videos on my channel, especially on Twitter. I kind of post, I posted this video, kind of like a snip, like a little preview to this video on Instagram. I mean, on Twitter and also on my community tab too. If you guys want to check that out, make sure you guys head over to the channel, hit community, and you guys can see all the stuff that I posted there. Anyways, my name is Prez, and I'll see you guys next time in the next NHL 20 news video. Peace out.